<clears throat> That's the time I feel like making love to you. Mm -hmm. That's the time. I feel like making dreams come true. Oh, baby. Hey, everybody. Let's get this show on the road. Happy Independence Day for all of you that are watching me, wherever you are this evening. Let's talk about it. I know. Now, just just to be clear, I, I, I haven't been working all day. I want you to know. Uh, I spent all morning at home, part of the afternoon. I came in late afternoon only to be met on Facebook and the internet buzz with the news that the, the PF were holding an extraordinary convention over there at Mulungushi Conference Center. I was aghast. I thought to myself, what has happened? What is going on? And then all of a sudden I'm reminded of that passage of scripture that says there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that is has been and everything that's going to be is. So, so this is scriptural. I don't want you to walk away thinking this is some type of cataclysmic once in a lifetime event. Oh no, honey, we've been down this road before. Let me bring you up to speed in case some of you, especially the Zambians that live in the diaspora, wherever you live, Australia, the Maldives, Madagascar, the islands of the sea, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Shreveport, uh, Columbus, Ohio, wherever you are, uh, China, you must understand as a Zambian that is interested in geopolitics, Zambian geopolitics, please be made aware. The PF have selected a brand new president in the name of Mao Zedong. Read it and weep, honey. You should say something. Let me tell you why, because it's real. Now, let's be clear. Back in December, early December of 2014, Miles Sampa contested. This was back when uh, Guy Scott was the acting president. They went to a convention, a very heated, very hotly contested convention. And Miles was declared winner in that camp. And of course, there was another camp that was headed by uh, by Edgar Lungu, along with Abena uh, Widin Sanda, Abena Karimanshi, all those chaps, they had their own convention and they declared by Edgar Lungu as the winner. But of course, at that time, by Edgar Lungu had the advantage because when Vasata fell ill, Vasata left what we commonly refer to as the instruments of power in the hands of Edgar Lungu. Uh, who became, who later became our sixth uh, president. But because Zambians, we as Zambians are locked into this chieftain, this chieftain, this chieftain mentality, you know, that sort of says when, when a chief bequeaths a position onto someone, that person is the chosen one. At any rate, Walungu was ushered in as, as the president, even against the backdrop of Mao Zisampa being declared winner. Walungu's group ignored that victory by Mao Zisampa and they declared themselves winner. And of course, as you know, the rest is history. That was December of 2014. Remember that, keep that in mind. Now, ever since that time, there are big wigs. And of course, back in 2014, even though by given Lubinda, is someone that touts himself as a hardcore PF. Back in 2014, Walubinda resigned from the PF. He left the PF, you know, because he wasn't happy with what was going on, you know. And that was the time, back in 24, we were not sure. We were, I mean, the country was in political purgatory. We didn't know where we were going. And, and because, you know, it just wasn't clear who was going to be the president. But things happened the way they did, and uh, Edgar Lungu became our president. But my point is this. 
Miles was dribbled out of that situation. From that day forward, from 2014 till to date, every top Whig within the PF have always hated Miles. They've never liked him. Everything they've ever done within the patriotic front has been in an effort to undermine Miles, to discredit Miles, to sideline him, to embarrass him, to make him appear uh, uh, other than what he really was. And because they didn't like him, they did everything within his power, to, within their power, to discredit him. Now, fast forward to 2023. Now, you got to think, this is 2014, from 2014 to 2023, Miles Sampa was the very first man that went and took 200,000 kwacha to the PF Secretariat and said, I'm putting my name on the table. I'm, I'm giving you a clear indication that I am interested in running for the party presidency of this party. I'm putting my mouth where my money is. Here's 200,000. Wa chilangwa, wa Dixon chilangwa was there, that there. Wa de kabila nempia. Wa de mina na mate wa chilangwa. Wa de tifio mwa la de tempia sho. Tushipende. Wa ambo kushipende sho. 200,000 kwacha. Dira wa fuma, wa pusho kupenda wa mouse vaya. Wa mouse vaya wa pela receipt. Na, na document saying he has lodged in his nomination and he has paid the fee. The moment Maus left that secretariat, ba chilangwa ba ya pa phone wa mboku tumi na ba nabo. Araboi Maus na reta two hundred thousand kwa cha cash. I sato ala shibombe la po ture shichiva ula eri o yuenga wa chelwa tapali afi wala dia yo wala sanga fena tu shipwa. Efia chitik. I'm telling you, that is what happened. Did they Miles? Because Miles single-handedly opened the floodgates for other candidates within the PF that were squirmish about declaring their intention. Because you must understand that in that political party, it was regarded, it was, it was, it was, it was perceived that you were too ambitious when you declared your intentions. But Miles Sampa went against the grain and he took the 200,000 and said, hey, this is my, uh, not only is it my constitutional right, but it is my right as a member of this party to openly declare my intention to stand. And I'm not asking anybody any favors. I'm not asking for any handouts. I'm bringing my blood, sweat, and tears to the table, and here's the money. Put my name on that list. That's all he was saying. So now, here it is, after Miles did that, that's when the other MPF uh, uh, members started coming out of the woodworks. Avena Imanyo, Vaisanama 200,000, Yawo, mm. Avena GBM. Ba esenama 200,000 kwa mm. In total, there were nine candidates. Count them. Nine PF. Ambitious, hungry, ravenous members of that party who were showing openly, showing their interest, intention of running, running, for the party presidency. Nine of them. A total of 1.8 million kwacha was raised from that exercise. Incidentally, the same number that the PF garnered during the 2021 elections. How ironic. Ironic that nine candidates Paying each 200,000 kwacha 
came to the conclusion in the number of 1.8, which is also the number they collected through the ballot boxes in 2021. Brothers and sisters, that is not only ironic, it is uncanny. Uncanny. Anyway, so, did you have one some candidates? Bachita Lodge. Bachita Lodge. He don't know back why he said, no, if we have a candidate that we have a boy, I've been a kachinda, hijack a kachinda, I've been a given, I've been a one, I've been a bowman, I've been a chita kwa tika kwa, kwa kwa ram. Bae sana mbo kuchite oku totosha mbo kutu waba kwa waba president kuti mbo hele la po. So, those nine candidates and their money was wasted. Completely wasted. So now, Mao Zisampa has woken up as a different animal. Mao Zisampa simply said, they have dribbled me before. They dribbled me let me even take the the chite, the entwani. Where is that the handkerchief? Mao Zusampa said, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, these NPF crooks, these vagabonds, these bottom feeders, they crooked me in 2014 December. Not anymore. I've taken all the crooking, all the dribbling I can take. Now, the matter, the matter has come up and I'm going to dribble them. I'll dribble them at their own game. What does Miles do? Wangu Wangu, he mobilizes fans, he mobilizes members of the PF, and he takes them there to the convention. Kutibane. He from 2024, 2014, Are you aware of that word? Eh? But my brothers and sisters, boys and girls, this is 2023. He goes there. He mobilizes the youth. They vote for him. Barely an hour ago, today, as I'm sitting here, Mao Zisampa has been declared the brand new president of the PF. Mao Zisampa has now said, we are going to change the way we do politics. It will no longer be kawawawa. Wah! We don't want that kawawawa. Wah! We no longer want that politics. When you say, what do they say? PF, I don't know what they say. That's, I don't know. Okay. But basically, what I'm trying to say to you is that Miles is going to change the way. PF runs. No more cadres, from what I hear. What I'm a cadres, I'm a kadimanshi, that type of kadarism, Edgar Lungu, it will no longer be there under the leadership of Mao Zisampa. It is now a new time. It's a new dawn. New dawn. No pun intended. Watch this space. Mao Zisampa, to some of you, appears inconsequential. But I can assure you that what has happened today there at the convention has made the establishment of the NPF shake in their boots. Pala mule mona ba imanyo mamba, tawali batunturiyo. Pala mule mona abena given lubinda, tawali batunturiyo. Fidia mule mona uyu binocular Savimbi Nakachinda Tali Mutunturiyo Balino Mwenso Pantunabe Shibati Bane Brown Sisters Boys and Girls The Game The Game has changed. Watch this face. <laughs>